What's going on, y'all? Dark and Wendy back again with another video. So, like I said in my last video, I'm gonna go through. I was gonna do a series of videos where I just go over my different generations, uh, and regions, just to go through and just pretty much show and talk about like what I was thinking of when I was actually going through it to make the designs and everything. Why some designs are like how they are, how they, how some used to be, how some currently are. So as you can see, I'm on my wiki. I actually thought about just starting out of order, just because it's more fun that way. It's more sporadic and everything, because that that's how I that's how I'm currently doing my last five generations. But it makes sense to better to just go in order, make it, it makes it easier to follow, and it shows my it'll show my progression, I guess. Some some designs are already redone, as you can probably tell by the quality compared to some others. But yeah, we'll 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 get through it together and let let's see what's going on here. Here we got generation one. We're on my wiki. Generation one. We have Hunter here on the cover on the cover to represent it. <laughs> the, let's see. And here we are, generation one, or or also known as the Xenia region. Now you may be asking yourself, Dark and Wendy, why the hell did you name it the Xenia region? And the, the the truth is, I don't know. <laughs> All I know is when I was first starting, well, when I was younger and still kind of to this day, I've always had like an affinity for the letter X. Like it was just always so not used as often. And it just, it just looked cool to me. <laughs> and I also liked things that like words and names that ended in I-O or like, that's why I kind of like Lucario's name and things like that. Like my name, my my name is Marco, so I like things that end in O. It just it just sounds fun, so I just made up Xenio back then when I was thirteen. So that's the name. That's it's pretty much that's pretty much all the reason it is for it. Like it just sounded like a fun name. There isn't it isn't anything special compared to all the other generations or regions. So yeah. Now let's see. All right, let's go through. First, we got our starters, Kabu, Cezaber, and Platyke. So, as you can see, Kabu is a panda, Cezaber is a, a saber tooth tiger, and Platyke is a platypus. Now, <laughs> I don't know why I specifically chose these three animals in particular, but it just, it just felt like a fun thing to do at the time. Like, I just... It was just on a whim. Like I just I just remember being back in, in my own class back in middle school and I just I just drew I just drew these starters and I ended up taking over and putting them on they they were my first starters that I tried to digitalize by using paint tool aside and like just the line tool in general. Like there's a old there's an old pick of them. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see if I can find them. Let's let's, let's go to the gallery. God, Deviant Art has changed so much. All right. Yep. Here we are. Xenia. Here's how they were originally. And as you yes yes embrace the cringe. Uh yeah. <laughs> All the way back in. May 2013. So, yeah, and as you can see, I updated them last year. That's what they're. This is their current look, and possibly their how their final look. I don't. I don't think I'm gonna go back and redo them again. But who knows? I may get even better later on down the line and decide to go back again. You know, you never know. But yeah, let's go through. Kabu, Kabu. Well, let's see. All right, so Kabu is pretty much just the panda cub Pokemon. Obvious reasons, just he's just a panda. I decided to just give him the bamboo. Like there are a lot of panda starters that just have bamboo, and as incorporate into their designs. So, and I didn't really see I didn't really see that many when I was first starting, but I just went ahead and did it. Then we have Ninda, the, the ninja Pokemon. I don't know why I decided to make it a a, a ninja. But 
it just ended up working, sort of. Yeah, it's kind of, mm, it's 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 an okay. It, it's it was okay, but yeah, I didn't know where I wanted to go. I I knew I wanted to be a grass fighting type, but I didn't really think of, of a nin like I thought of a ninja for some reason, and that's just how it wound up. And Pandalen, the Shaolin Pokemon, yeah, as you can see, this is the revamped design and everything, so things are a lot better than they used to be. Like the, you can you have it that you have the patterns actually representing some some clothes that some robes and martial artists will wear, and you have the bamboo staff. It has a better pose. As you can see down here. This was the old design, and uh, let me tell you, yeah, no, this is definitely not it. This, this is not it, Chief. It, it's pretty similar, but mm, I prefer, I much prefer the the current one. So let's see. Now we got Sazaber. Like I said, just a normal saber tooth tiger. There was already a bunch of fire cat, Fakemon starters and everything, and then we got Lidden and everything, so it's official, but. Yeah, this he just standard saber tooth tiger. We got Saber Iron. Its original name ended up being Saborch, like saber tooth and torch. But yeah, I but then later on, I actually can't. I actually made up in my mind. Wait, say say bird tooth, say burn. That that works to a lot better. So I changed the name. So now it's say burn, and it looks a lot better than it used to. Blazaber, yep, yep. I yeah, I like I like the black coloration for it. <laughs> it. It was really it's really cool because like the old design was just um um uh, yeah <laughs> uh, the the red the red's too bright the black's too dark. The fire that is even really look like fire. Wait, it looks like fire, but it's not that great. Like, what, what, what are the, what are the, what are the legs? Like, the legs are too fucking stocky. The paws are too small. Oh my god, what the heck? But yeah, the new Blazaber is a lot better than the old one. Now we have Platyke. Yay, Platyke. Now Platyke is the platypus before. Yes, I made the plat. I made a platypus starter before it was popular, <laughs> like that the one that was used for, for, for Tim Tim and everything. The Fifty Shades of Helio this did. And my my mine came first. I did it first. I just, but it, it's whatever. It's not. It's nothing special really. It's just it's a platypus. So that's pretty much it. It's not not much to say about it, honestly. Now, Platypun, as you can see, it turned into a water ice type. I don't know why I made it a water ice type, but... And as you can see, compared to the other ones, the artwork is still just pretty janky. Like, you can see, like, the shading isn't as smooth as it is on my other ones. And you can see that uh, how I did the eyes and the paws and everything isn't that great. So... Yeah, I really, I really need to get around to redoing Platypon. Same thing for Platig. Oh God, Platig is just a big chunk. Like I said before, it's just I don't know why I made. I decided to make it an ice type, and I just gave it ice on its fat arms. Like that, that's a trend with my older stuff. I made a lot of things just chunky and fat because I just enjoyed that for the most part, I guess. So yeah, I just got it covered in ice, and it's just the, the tail is got. I never realized how fat I made the tail. Jeez, what the heck? <laughs> but yeah, I need to re. I need to go around, get around to redoing platypus as well. But yeah, it's just a platypus. It's just a platypus, ice platypus. We'll, 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 we'll get an update sooner or later. We will. Now we have the regional road, Zoka Road. And its evolution, Rokosin. These two are based off of the Zoker, which is a type of rodent that is, yeah, it's pretty much, it's kind of like a, it's kind of like a mole, but it's not. 
So it's just, it's kind of hard to explain, but it's kind of like a mole. So it's in pretty simple things that. Yeah, it's pretty much based off of, it's just based off of the Zoker and like its artwork is a bit okay, but eh, it could be better. I read, I read, I read it. I think I last read them in 2019. Hold on, let me check. Oh, 2020. Never mind. That was this was just last year. Um, <laughs> well, uh, it's like I'm gonna have to redo them again at some point. But yeah, why? I don't know. I just like when I when I was doing uh the listings for the concept and designs I wanted to do for my generations, I always try to find animals that people have hardly heard of or hardly used. That's pretty much my staple. Like I go out of my way to find different fat different animals and facts and everything, even if there's already similar species and everything. I just go through find ones that look cool or have or look weird, have a wacky name, and I just go from and I just go with it and I go from there. So I I have a Zoker for my first regional rodent. <laughs> now Bow Bloom and Blazunia. I don't entirely know what I was doing with these. Like they're just based off of flowers and everything. Hold on, let me let me look at specific. Let me get specific. It is based on the anthocyte. I forgot all about this. Yeah, okay. Oh, yeah, okay. It's a uh, fairy nymphs, like flower nymphs. Yeah, I remember that now. Yeah, I remember that. And the high hyacinth flowers. Yep. Yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. <laughs> like, as you can see, compared to the other ones, yeah, the, this artwork is a bit more recent and everything. So, yeah, we're good. These are pretty good. This is just a standard bulb plant thing, kind of like Petalil to Lilligant and Sunkern to Sunflower in a, in a sense. And like I started in Gen 5, so I started my project in Gen 5, so I didn't really add the fairy type until later on in Gen 6. So yeah, that's these guys. Let's see. That Glidar, the Glider Pokemon, uh, is based off of that. The jumping spiders, peacock spiders, the spiders like that, yeah, the peacock spider, things of that nature. Uh, I, the artwork really leaves a lot to be desired, but let's see. Yeah, it's based off. Of, it's based off of these guys. <laughs> I'm, yeah, compared to the actual thing, yeah, these guys are trash. I really, I really, really need to redo these guys. I haven't touched them in years. I have, I have not touched them since 2014. I don't think. I really don't. I don't think I've touched them since. But yeah, they're just based off of the Peacock Spider. They're not really that special. They're not really that special in design. They're just, eh. Now Mimage and Badging. Okay, so these two. These two pretty much act as the ditto of my entire universe. Cause in my like for my for my fake my project, there's absolutely no correlation to official Pokemon for obvious reasons. We all see how that turns out for people who make fan games and all this other stuff. Plus it's a lot more fun to just worry about your own designs and come up with your own concepts instead of just relying on official designs already, in a sense. Like, so, like, I don't make any, I don't try to make any Megas, I don't, well, I can't say that. No, no, I don't make, yeah, I don't make, I just don't make evolutions or pre-evolutions to official Pokemon already since I just, I, I just pre personally prefer to make my, all my own designs. It makes it feel more of my own, in a sense. But if I still have a concept that's similar to official Pokemon already, I'll still try to my best to make it my own so that, like, we've seen what official Pokemon have done. They've had, like, they've had, well, they had seven Kitsunes already. Vulpix and Ninetales, Zora, Zoroark, Fennekin's line, they're all pretty much Kitsunes, so, and but they all have different designs, so I do this, so pretty much for me, I do the same thing. If I have a concept that I think will work, but if Pokemon has done it too, I just make it my own. That's that's the only thing you can do. So for Mimage and Badging, they're pretty much the ditto of my 
of my universe. Their ability is dupe, which is pretty much the same thing, just transform. And they're part of the shifter egg group. I had, I had, I knew that when it comes to since I have my own baby Pokemon and things of that nature, I knew that I would need to have a Pokemon that fills the old role. So that's where these guys come in. Their official, their original designs were terrible, terrible. But they are based off of the Mugina, which is like a shape shifting badger, kind of like a Tanuki type deal. Let's see, let's see. Yeah, the Japanese badger, the Japanese dracoon doll, the tanuki, and we all know like tanukis and everything, shape shifting and things like that. So it's pretty simple. Pretty simple. Yep, no gender or anything. Just get they're just used for breeding. An actual Pokemon that actually has a has a form and isn't just a blob. They still transform, but hey, at least it's, there's a form to it now. <laughs> now. Here we have the regional rock. They they are in every gen, but yeah, we have Quarzite, Mortirock, and Kragmadon. And as you can see, their designs highly differ because I went back to redo Quarzite and actually let make it look kind of like it's based off of Quartz, but I didn't touch Mortirock or Kragmadon yet. I still need to I still need to get, need to go back and get this because seriously. Why? What are those eyes? He's seen some shit. <laughs> and that mouth, oh god. Ugh. Yeah, they're based, they're based off of, they're just based off of crystal ore, gems, and golems, pretty much. Pretty much, the pretty, the standard, the standard. Like, like Geodude and like Rock and Roller, so. But, but they're, not, they're not that special. I just knew that, like, for my, I just know all the tropes for designs and everything, so I just try my best to, well, well, not not tropes for designs, but tropes for generations. So I just try my best to mimic them as best I can. So I have a good chunk of what I need to do, what I need to have. Next we have Eftini, Syrep, and Tefren. And once again, as you can see, Tefren is a Tefren is vastly different than Eftini and Cyrus. Let's see. Look at that. Look at that clean artwork. Look at that clean artwork. And then, yeah. For some reason, I made Tefren grass and ground. I'm not sure why I did that, but I want to. I'm just gonna go with it. Now, Eftini and Cyrus. They're pretty much they're all all of them are based off of nudes and Fs and everything. So I just decided the older designs were pretty bad. Let's see. Why did I just do that? Okay, wrong wrong click. Let's see. Let's see, you can see F Teeny's old design is pretty much just bleh. The colors are pretty dull in a sense and the yellows aren't that bright. The purple didn't really go well with it. So, yeah, I had to redo it, and I did it a little bit. Now, some people have said that it looks more like Trico, which I understand since they're grass lizards and everything, and the colors are similar. But I just went with the color scheme that I felt would be the best for it and to go through the line. So, as you can see, we got... Eftini, I changed the pose a little bit. Well, uh, Eftini, I changed the pose a little bit. I got, I got it a little bit better. It's based on the Alpine new in particular. Let's see. Yep. It's the boy. Yep. It doesn't have that many spots compared to it, but yep. That's how I did. The, I had to do the redesign. For Cyrift, Cyrift is also based off of the Alpine Newt, but I incorporated aspects of the long, the, the Asian grass lizards. As you can see, they got that long tail, and what do you know? It can be used as a, it could be used as a vine, and I can put some leaves on it. So now we have Cyrift looking like this, and using it, and using its tail as a scarf. May look a bit awkward, but I'm 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 happy with it. 
and it's a bit and it's a lot better than it used to because I just I, I remember that the old Cyref artwork yeah I just I pretty much just copied uh, the old Charmeleon pose you know the the old Charmeleon pose you can easily see the similarities right there yeah I just copied that pose since I thought since I know I knew that people wanted I knew that people would want my stuff to be more dynamic and everything for their poses so I just copied that and went from there and then Tefrin I haven't re I haven't gotten around to redoing Tefrin yet but I know that it's still gonna be based off a of new and it's gonna be include include another lizard it's probably not going to be the long tail lizard since you know concepts have to change at well concepts sometimes change when you go through designs so we're just going to go from this so when i get there i'll get there next we got yukawala the one of my first uh first pokemon that actually has a regional form the Kulturian variant yep now I wanted to have I just wanted to do a koala Pokemon. That's pretty much all there is to it for these guys called you koala and koala. I just wanted to do a, a koala before Komala came into existence. So we have these guys. Not that special. His name is just his name is literally just Eucalypt Eucalyptus with koala together. That's literally it. Normal grass and fighting grass because I wanted it to fight. <laughs> made sure the leaves are kind of like made like get grass pants and everything but it's, it's pretty much just a pattern again like like how my champ like my chop and much my, my choke and my champs pants are literally just black black markings these are just these are pretty much just markings and it just has the leaves there so yeah that's pretty much all there is to it i'll go i'll go back to the yukawala's uh Kulturian variant when i when I get to that region, but yeah, it's just a koala and an amateur boxer. It's not really that's not not really that much to say about it. Litzat and Thudat. Yes, I know Thudat is a bit awkward. Why not Thundad or whatever, whatever other name? And he, he just he just ended up sticking with me. So yeah, I, I I need to go back and redo these guys as well because they just seem awkward to me now. But yeah, I just wanted to have a bat Pokemon of my own. Like I said, I needed to go through the tropes. Like ever since the last bat Pokemon we had at the time was Woobat, before Woobat and Swoobat were it was Crobat from Gen Two because Zubat, Golbat, and Crobat, and then we had Woobat and Swoobat. So I wanted to just have my own bat Pokemon too just because and i made an electric type because why not I don't, I don't i didn't see anyone else having an electric bat so i just wanted to do new stuff not much else to say about it let's add that at like their designs are okay but back then like the design the design is still pretty much the same but the artwork is cleaner and the artwork is cleaner but it feels more like it's taped together. Is it like it's got a shirt on instead of just flowing? I haven't, I haven't updated. I haven't updated either of them since 2018, as you can see. So one of these days, I'm gonna have to go back and redo these guys. So yeah. All right, Sporish and Guspore. Once again, needed to redo stuff. Needed to follow the trends. Mushrooms are every other generation, so. Here's mushroom. Uh, I wanted to do one of those mushrooms, like oh my god, like people get high on shrooms. I wanted to do a play on that, so it's poison psychic type. Uh, they spray the things up the top of their head. They have the patterns and everything. The colors are all the colors are all wonky and everything. The old designs, like the old design is oof. That's just a oof right there. Uh, it, it's just it's so hard. But then don't don't judge me. It was just so hard. Now 
Now, for Sporish, it wasn't that, the difference wasn't too big. I just made the powder a bit better and changed the symbol on his face for the most part. But other than that, it's mostly the same. So, yeah, that's good. Let's see, Let's see if my internet will work. Yep. Alright, next we have Kamopper. A camouflage grasshopper. I have no words. I just, I guess I just wanted to do a grasshopper and it, I wanted it to be, uh, have, have something special about it, so I made it have camouflage patterns on it. Um, that is the old design here. No, this old design. That, oh, well, 2016. All right, then, uh, <sighs> oh well. <laughs> but yes, yeah, it's, it's not, not, not much special. Tweedum, Dartum, and Hamadar. Now, now we have these, these are these guys are just the regional bird. They, they're based off of hummingbird, hummingbirds, obviously, but also darts. But that probably isn't shown that well since I, again these are some designs that I haven't touched in years, and the the transition is a bit drastic from Sweetum to Dartum and minimal red to Dartum to Hummingbird. I literally just changed the green to red for the most part. So, yeah, not much to say about these guys either. I remember, like, they're a, humming, they're a hummingbird and a dart, but I haven't really shown much of it in these designs. Lodies, just a flea, not much. Like, like I said, when, when I did all these, I just made a list and went through with it. I didn't really think much about it at the time. That's why I'm going back to redo some of the artwork for them. <laughs> And flesh out concepts a bit more, so bear bear with me, bear with me. I know I know that I'm not really saying much as I should, but <laughs> for some of these, it, they're pretty much just self-explanatory. I just wanted to do something and I did it without much thinking. Now for Bloody, Bloody is pretty much just a regular flea, but it also based off one of those blood bags that that people have for like blood transfusions and everything. That that's pretty much what it is. Let's see, we got Damzeg, we got Damzeg, Cellafly, Lambsill. They're, they're just based off of Damselflies, the Damselfly process. Yeah, you can see. Yeah, Cellafly and the Damselfly pretty much just the same. Now, their original designs were pretty meh. Their original designs were pretty meh. We got like Dam's egg was Dam's egg wasn't just a head, it had the whole it had the entire body. Yeah. Lamp seal. Lamp, lamp seal was what lamp seal wasn't blue, it was just it was yellow and it had kind of like a vibrable a more of a vibrable vibe. Like both of them still have a vibrable vibe. And Cellify was just, it didn't have anything special with the wings or anything. It was just, it, it was, it was this. I don't know what this was. I don't know what I was doing, what I was thinking, but what, it's just, uh, just, uh, is all I can really say. <laughs> but, yeah. Let's see. Alright, Lamb Seal. We got Cellafly. Fube. Okay, so Fube. Fube is based off one of the ones that's based off of Japanese mythology. It's based off of the Kawa Akago. It's one of those. It was, it's pretty much a baby that's drowning, that pretends to be drowning or something like that. I haven't researched it in a while. <sighs> I can't, I cannot spell. I'm sorry. <laughs> Let's see. Kawa Akago. Let me just copy paste. I what? Yeah, I haven't, I haven't added the links or anything to some of the designs that I haven't gone back to touch yet. So yeah, Kawa Akago River Baby. They're pretty much like kappas. They trick people. And they appear in the, they appear in rivers and lakes and everything, and they mimic crying babies, and they just drag people away. So, yeah, I wanted to do something based off of that. A lot of Japanese mythology played a part in, in 
Pokemon designs in general. So I just wanted to have a, a lot of those too, especially some of the weirder ones. Steel Dream and Ski Sig, they're just pond skaters. Kinda like kinda like uh kinda like Masquerade and Surskit. <laughs> I almost forgot his name, Surskit. Yeah, kind of like Surf Skid and Master Brain. They're just water striders. Not much to say about them. It, other than it's based off, it's got uh, more of a buoy kind of bo body now compared to its older one. Well, it, the, the, the buoy body was still the same, but it just wasn't as exemplified. This one just, it was just round. So, yeah. And Ski Sect. Yeah, Ski Sect was just. Not much to say, it's just, it's just a pond skater, not much. Now, alpaca and alpacking, <laughs> these guys and their tongues. I, read, I was thinking about how llamas and alpacas spit and everything for that. So, and I wanted to do like something with cotton. So, I just decided cotton wool. I'll make, make them have cotton wool. That was simple enough. And they have their, since they spit a lot, why not have use their spit to have it water themselves, in a sense, keep themselves hydrated, keep the wool healthy and everything. I just like that idea. Yeah, got this boy and his long tongue, like, just ready. Got the, he has the, actually has cotton pods and everything coming all of him, as you can see. Yeah, kind of, yeah. These are these are just cotton pods, how they look, and I decided to just incorporate that within the design. It's old design, if it if it's still here, yeah, it's old design was just pretty basic, not much special or anything going on. It was pretty much uh, it just got bigger from alpaca, so yeah, I just went with that. Now here we have the now here we have the Pikachu of my universe. Gerblitz, only it doesn't evolve. It's pretty much just the Pik it serves to be the Pikachu or mascot of the of the universe. So yeah, I I tried to, I tried my best to make the the design look as reminiscent to like the more older kind of style as possible. The older modern the old modern style as opposed to possible like with the extra scratches and. The more blended style instead of things just being flat. So, and as you can see, the design was not the same. It used to, the design was vastly different before. It was just a neon bright mess. And I did not like that anymore. So, here we have this this good boy. It's a Jerboa. Got the plug tail on deck. Mm hmm. Made sure, I made sure to get things as close to the style as possible it was it was it was a process but it was pretty good it's pretty good now now Econ and Xeon are meh they're just based off of what was it yeah they're not yet yeah, the Yamabiko it's one of those echo monsters if I'm remembering correctly uh yeah Yamabiko is like an echo monster in the mountains so yeah it looks nothing. Yeah, these guys look nothing like how they're supposed to. I just went with something, and I really need to change that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Now, let's see. We got Crookhorn, Raccoon, and Thieboy. These guys are pretty much, pretty much, these guys are pretty much be Pokemon used by an evil team for the most part. Uh, I always, I saw other Pokemon designers, you, other Pokemon designers have like criminal type Pokemon and I, I knew I needed, I wanted to do my own. So we have these guys, they're based off of raccoons, bank robbers, and something called the Kanidama, which was like a spirit who takes money. It's like a spirit of money. Uh, yeah, it's a. It's a uh, based on gold coin yokai. Yeah, it's pretty much that's pretty much all it is. Uh, quick coin is pretty much has no real raccoon type quality other than the tail and the mask. The tail is pretty much like Deli Bird when it just stores stuff in it and it has the coin. Raccoon is just hugging the his its tail bag 
but it has the ears, but it still doesn't really look that much like a raccoon. And then we have Steve one, just not much to say. Normal, normal dark, and they just, they just, they are just the bad. They're just the Pokemon for the evil team to use. Now, Worm Mound and Drill Urn. Worm Mound is pretty much just an earthworm. I wanted to do something special with it instead of just having it be just a worm with dirt around it. But I still ended up making a worm with dirt around it. It pretty much. It pretty much hops around on one foot. It's kind of it's kind of like a Diglett the trio situation, like that one scene in the anime where Brock is holding, where Brock is holding a the trio. Yeah, it's kind of a situation like this, where it just where it pops out of the ground, but it, it has this root, and it just hops around on that. So, yeah, it's just it's just a literal earthworm. And then Drill Arm is it, it trades with the Melico and it just becomes pretty much uh, a Mega Drill a Drill Worm. Not not much to really say. It's pretty it's pretty basic. Not not much else to say about it. Now we got Baybara and Baraqua Capybara. They're based off of Capybara. I already know that off a of fact. Of course, and you guys already knew based off the names. But yeah. Bar Baybara has already been redone. I made sure, like the old design, the old design is pretty, the old design is still cute, but it didn't really have much going on to it with its transition from it to Bar Aqua. Like it, it didn't, nothing much changed. So I made sure to change this. So now it, it looks like it has floaties on. It's, it's eye is more cute. And I still need, I haven't gone back to redo Bar Aqua, but when I do, it's gonna, the transition is gonna be a bit better. And it won't look as similar to another one of my Kevin Bear Pokemon that I have later on in another region. But we'll see what happens when I get there. Nutcher and Wingorn. Nutcher and Wingorn are pretty much nut hatches, like literally. Like I, I had a trend of just having seen names of animals and taking them super literally. So, Nutcher and Wingorn are nut hatches, which are a type of bird that pretty much are just these guys. Little blue with chestnut kind of colors on its chest and everything. But I didn't, but we have that. We have that here. I just have it in a nut instead. Yeah. I really need to redo the, a lot of these guys. Jeez. But yeah, that's all it was to do. That's why all I did for these guys. They, I wanted to do like a little version of a nut hatch, and I, I, I have, I never seen a nut hatch Pokemon or Fakemon done. So that's where these guys come in. Now, Lirup and Howlurk. These guys are based off of what was it? The yeah, the Okuri Inu and the Raiju, the escorting dog, but it's a wolf, not a dog. Yeah, it pretty much just follows people from behind at night. And the Raiju, we all know what Raijus are. They're just pretty much electrical creatures. Like, but pretty much what Raikou, what Raikou is based off of. And, yeah. Raikou, Magnetric, just a bunch of different... Some of the electric types are based off of it. But, yeah. Raikou, Raijus could be like cats, dogs, monkeys, things like that. It's pretty much just thunder beast. Wolf, dog, weasel, marten, porcupine, e elephant. What the? Hold on. All right. All right. We got some more ideas coming up coming up soon, guys. Uh, <laughs> but yeah. All right. We got Howler. Yeah, they're pretty much just... I, mean, I gave them... Yeah the dark blue and yellow to kind of go with the thunderstorms at night, things like that. And the eyes are pretty much hypnotic, just just for the, I don't know, I don't even know why. I don't know why, I don't remember why I did that. I just, I guess I just wanted to do that, just for fun. It said, its eyes are set to control anyone who looks into them. Okay, so it also has a bit of mind control for some reason. Okay. <laughs> Now, Smoke Off and Cough Fight. These guys were made before Marshadow. 
I, I remember seeing some people, someone say that it's pretty much a rip off my shadow or something. I made this years before my shadow was revealed. So I came first with this. So smoke off is just based off of the Anenera. It's pretty much just a smoke monster. It's pretty much all there is to it. Yeah, you can see it's just it's composed of smoke and darkness and stuff. But yeah, I just wanted to do a ghost fighting type based off of smoke. Smoke for some reason. I made a fighting type. I just did. So who knows? Yeah, these guys aren't that great. I still need to redo them too. Well, cough fight well, no. Hold on back. Back. Smoke off is smoke off is fine right now. Smoke off is fine. Since I redid it, its old design was pretty b basic, boring, not much, not much going on with it. Now, but Cough Fight, needs to be, Cough Fight needs to be redone definitely because this is the same design it's had for years, and I, and I need to redo that. Oh, nib it. Okay, so I'll say this: Nibbit, Shamoto, and Toxilla were, were inspired by Lewis Brains. Well, originally inspired by Lewis Brains, Toxic Lizards that he did back in the day. I wanted to, I saw that he did like some kind of Gila Monster, Komodo Dragon type thing, and I said, like, oh, that's cool. I can do something like that too. And I ended up using some of the similar colors and things like that, and it looked too similar. And then as time went on, I decided to just keep on remaking it, do it and eventually make it my own instead of having it look kind of similar to Lewis's. And right now it's still not that great. I haven't again I haven't touched it in years, so I, I once I once I go back and redo it, it'll be redone. But yeah, that's pretty much these guys pretty much just came because I wanted to do something like Lewis did. List Kid and List King. Now, List Kid is based off of just the regular iguana base the basilisk. Like one of those liz regular lizards, the crested lizards and everything like that. One of these. But this king is based off of the 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 basilisk snake type of deal, the the dragon, the basilisk dragon type thing. Hold on, let me see. Yeah, yeah, it's based off of the basilisk snake monster. Yeah, the legendary reptile, serpent king. Yeah. Yep, yep. So, the the original designs for these two were pretty much just they were iguanas. They were iguanas. They were basically iguanas that just got bigger and you could barely tell the difference between the two. Like, as you can see, it's just, yeah, not much, not much there. And I decided to change the design up to actually give them more character and everything so that they weren't just damn near carbon, carbon copies of each other. Since, yeah. Well, they weren't carbon copies, but yeah, Liz King didn't really look that great. The legs were the legs were awkward, and it just didn't really seem like it worked well with it. So I just decided to change the concept and went with there. Next, we have Driver and Wyvern and Vernal. These guys are just based off of Wyverns. I wanted to do something for a desert like area so that's where these guys came in the i don't i don't i don't really have any other things to say about them like no not much other than they kind of have the pizza type coloration the red is the red the red is like the pepperoni the crust and everything <laughs> but yeah there there's not much to say they're just my ground dragon types Ugh. The designs aren't that great. I haven't uh, redone. Oh, this is okay. So yeah, this is still the old old work. Okay. And yeah, as you can see with the claws and the how the shading is and the feet. Yeah, this isn't that great. So yeah, my internet will. Yeah, there you go. All right, next we have Jaroshan. Jaroshan is pretty much just Jaroshan. Yes, I know that it's a bottle now, 
but it's original name. I didn't, I didn't, I couldn't think of a na another name at the top of my head at the time. And Jarosha and bottles and jars are kind of the same in a sense with some words. So why not? The original design was just this, just a uh, a burnt, a bent cylinder with extra heads on it. Not much of a jar. It was just something. I don't know. But I made it more of like a bottle design this time. I have the little arms coming out. The inside of it is black. It has the little arms that can represent liquid since it got the range, the drop, the drop shape. And it has the little rock at the top to, like a cap. Yeah, it's based off of the Camiosa now. Yeah, it's just the old jar that has sake and water in it. Yeah, you can see it close up. Yeah, you can see that it has the kind of like the the shape and everything, but it's not it's not too exaggerated, like with all the extra water coming out, and it's a pure rock type. And I made it a pure rock type, so yeah, it's still good. It's still good. Now Stalloway and Lagmine. These these guys are pretty much just cave encounters. Like and they level up knowing Topsy Turvy since I just wanted I just, all I did was just turn it upside down for the evolution, kind of like NK and Malamar. So yeah, Stellaway and Lagmine are like I'm I'm really proud of how these guys came came out just because of how I did the rocks and everything, how the things turned out because the old design, the old design was just awkward and creepy, sort of. So it's just like why. Like the teeth and the black was too black and it's like it was just all felt weird so yeah i'm really proud of how these guys came out when i redid them like they have a lot more character they have a lot more detail with it well not too much detail but i like what i did with the the artwork what i with the lines the shading and how i did the under view like they did like they do from ghost types yeah, this is yeah, this is, it was fun to do this, the lag tights and stalagmites. Now we got hip lash and hip phone. Yeah, these guys are just hippos, not much to say. Only difference is hip phone is standing now. Cause I don't remember a lot of standing hippo mons. I just wanted to do something for fun. Ground ground water type is just based off of hippos, not much to say. Now here are my fossil mines, Kentrike, one, one, one pair of my fossil mines, Kentrike and Spinerus. They're pretty, they're pretty much just based off of the Kentrosaurus, despite, despite the name. It's not based off of the Stegosaurus or anything like that. It's just based off of the Kentrosaurus. It's pretty much just... They're, they're pretty much they're pretty much like it, but mm, but yeah, they're pretty much like this. They have the spikes running down their backs, kind of like stegosauruses do. Yeah. So yeah, they're, yeah, they're pretty much like stegosauruses, but they're not. Yeah. I just wanted to do it. Like I said, I go back, like I said, well, for my first generations, I just went through and found different things that people would hardly look at or hardly use, things that I've barely seen, unique stuff. I always just tried to do that. I didn't, like, looking at them, I didn't, I didn't really push them as much as I should have, but I was young at the time, so I can't really say much about, so much just about that. Dimono and Dimoiston. These are these guys are just based off of the Dimetrodon. We all know. I think we all know what a Dimetrodon is by now. Just long sail for real back. We all we all know who that is. Not nothing special. I just went through. The uh, Scarab and Beetroth. These guys are just based off of Scarab beetles, obviously with the name. But I went super duper bright with them for some reason. Like their original designs were not like this. I don't. I can let me see if they were still here. Nope. The uh, the original design was not like this. It but 
now they are. It's just really bright. And it really shouldn't be, I don't think. It's just weird. They have coins on them and everything. Yeah. Wait. Based on a jewel bug. What? I mean, sure. That I mean, sure, 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 old me. Let me, let me see if a jewel bug is it. Oh. Okay, I take back what I said. It, it it does make it does make sense for the colors to be bright, vibrant. But I'll probably have to go back and actually change things up to so that it incorporates both scarab beetles and jewel bugs so that it it flows better. Because right now it just looks awkward, and especially with the position of the coin, because uh, it just looks like I pasted it on it. <laughs> and Beatro is pretty much just a jewel ca a coin case. It, it just has the coins on the side of it, like you see in, in cash registers, like how they have the coins and set up. Yeah. Now, Duron and Blurron. I have I have redone Blurron. I have not redone Duron yet. But yeah, Duron and Blurron are just road runners. Not much to say about them. Meep Meep. That's that's pretty much their own thing. They just run across the desert. Not not much to say about it. Uh, I really, I'm really proud of the artwork, the new artwork I did for them. It just gives them more character and everything. So to even have the the dirt kicking up behind them, so how fast they run. They're fast as fuck, boy. Uh, the old design was, yeah, the old design lacked a lot. It just had an arrow and dust, and the colors were just dull. So I'm, so yeah, I'm, ha I'm, I'm a lot happier with with this outcome. Yeah. Next we have Lenobka. <sighs> another 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 example of me just copying a pose from official Pokemon type artwork and trying just in an attempt to be dynamic. It looks awkward as hell now. It's really really awkward. I cop for this one. I and I for this one I copied. Lipard's thing, Lipard's artwork from the TCG pack. If I can find, if I can find the example, uh, let's see. Yep, here it is. Yep, here it is. Plasma boost. That's plasma storm. Yep, this is the this is the artwork. This is the artwork that I copied, as you can see. Yep, pretty obvious. Yep. <laughs> uh, I was just trying. I was just trying too hard to to cater to people and just make make my stuff try to look more dynamic when it needs to be. Instead, it just ended up being really really awkward, especially compared to its baby form, which we will get to later on. Next we have Brincada and Kanang. They're pretty much just the, the standard snake that you'll get. Kind of like uh, Ekans and Arbok. Like they're just based off of anacondas and everything. Yep, yes, I had yeah, I had a ground type anaconda before Silicobra and Sandaconda came into existence. Once again, another point for me. <laughs> and it's, probably, it's not that great. It's not that yes, but it's not that great compared to them. It's just it's a basic. It's just the basic snake. Not not much going on in terms of the face or the body or anything compared to them. Just nothing at all. And Kanang is literally just a king cobra mixed with an anaconda. So it's not much special here, especially with this face. Like, ugh. and I gave it a mohawk, acting like it's a crown or something. Just Banoon. We are, we are, we, we've heard of the Moon Rabbit. If you know Umbreon, you know what a Moon Rabbit is. This is pretty much what it is. This is for Bunnum, I just made it a Moon Rabbit. Not not much not much else to say. I need I need to redo it. Now Shrimpy Shrimpy and Pranup. Okay. Shrimpy. Shrimpy and Pranup are pretty much they, they just kind of get a bit bigger, but it's fine. So 
but it's fine. Like I attempted to make a design, another design that was a different, a specific type of shrimp, but uh, uh, it it just didn't work out how I wanted it to. So yeah, I just reverted back to the old one. I just reverted back to the old one. Or and Pranip, I didn't touch it. I didn't really attempt it at all. It still just stays like this. So, yeah. Kelgi, yeah. Kelgi, Kelgi and Kelflow are just based off of kelp. Like that's literally it. They just they're just based off of kelp. Not much, not much to say. They're just well, the older design for them, if it's here. Yeah, the older design from him, it was a lot, it was a lot, I guess it was a lot rounder and cuter, but the newer one is a, has a bit more detail, it's, it's just a bunch of leaves on vines, and Kelflow, same for Kelflow, Kelflow is just, it looks more like a ruler or a king or something, he's got the cape and the tendrils and everything, but the old design was just, it was just a bigger thing with flat kelp arms and everything, just round. So yeah. Next we have uh, we have Osmosis Jones, aka Osmom, so Diplo and Osmodon. Um, yeah, these guys were just pretty much just based off of uh, Diffusion and Osmosis and everything like that. It's pretty much all there is to it for these guys. They have. It's pretty much it has a regular circle circular form, but without the band around it, it just with the band around it, it it turns into this cute monstrosity. I still need to redo it. Now Die Flow's bot Die Flow is the one, the only one out of the three that's actually redone before. And I actually like it a lot more just be simply due to the brighter blue that I used here. So yeah, they're all they're all just based off of osmosis and diffusion and everything like that. So not there's not much further to go into. This big buff early bastard just <sighs> You got Azuron. It's pretty much just it's pretty much just the uh, luminescent heron. It was like it's kinda yes, it's kinda like a luminescent heron. It was I'm not gonna even gonna try to pronounce it, but Ayo Sagibi, the blue hair and fire, neon hair and light. Yeah, this is pretty much what it all, all it is—a glowing heron. Like I said, I, well, when it comes to mytho the Japanese mythology stuff, I just went through and did everything. Ah, <laughs> Chomper, Chomper, and Jado, aka, aka, Dreadnought. And Choodle, before Dreadnought and Choodle were a thing. The same exact, same exact typing, same exact abilities, same exact, same exact species name. Hmm. Someone, someone was this. Someone was definitely watching. But yeah, Chomper and Choodle and Jato. I just wanted to do a snapping turtle. That's literally all there is to it. It trade with a metal coat and. Here we go. The original designs, like the original design for Chomper, remained relatively the same. I just changed. I just ended up keep changing the pose. I just changed the pose and lightened the colors up a little bit. But I still made it back in the day before before uh, Chudel and Dreadnought came out. And Jado was Jado was a, a little bit different. The, the artwork wasn't as clean, and it had like the it had a it had an extra horn on it for some reason, but I just took a, I just took it away because it didn't really I don't think it really fit well with the design since it's supposed to be able to like go back into its shell a bit sometimes. So yeah. Here and here we have the stereotypical pepper Pokemon that a lot of Pokemon artists do. This is my this is my rendition. I hope you enjoy it. Um, but yeah, the grass fire. Um, it's pretty much just a pepper dino. Not much. Like, it's just a chili pepper dinosaur. I can't really say, I, it can't get any simpler than that. That, well, I guess, I can, but we can go back to the old artwork where it was, uh, yeah. 
the old artwork was a bit mm, you, you could barely you could barely tell you could really just barely tell what it was what it was based off of but here I feel like it's a bit more obvious especially with the evolution Alasar. Uh yeah I did I did this I actually made the stem the head this time and added the spikes and the different colors at the end of his tail just so I can give it a bit more because the original design was not like this at all it was pretty much just stereotypical it was just stereotypical dinosaur but red and has and with grass so yeah I made mean, actually did more with it and had some more fun with it And it's fire and it's fire, fire dragon now. So it's not that stereotypical, I guess. <laughs> Stripeleon. It's pretty much just my attempt at like a a chameleon. I can't really I don't really I can't really think of anything else to say about it other than I need to redo the artwork of it. I was in the process of doing it before, but then other things caught my but then other designs caught my attention, so I may go back and actually finish redoing Stripelion at a certain point, but right now it's just meh. Now we got Mintot, Markent, and Mintril. The, pe the Peppermint Butlers, or the Peppermint Lords. Uh, I just wanted to do an Elf and Peppermint Candy and things like that. I wanted to do something with Peppermints. I just wanted to. I just did. I don't know, it just felt fun. And for some reason, I and for some reason I just colored all the lines for the peppermints when it's not needed. <sighs> but yeah. Yeah, these guys are just peppermint elves. They just slowly get bigger until it gets a uh, cane and everything, and it looks kinda like Santa or something. Well not like Santa, but like a, like it runs the candy factory or something. It has, a, it has that holiday feel to it. And the last one we're going to cover in this video is Cumulite, number 100. It's just pretty much just the cloud Pokemon. Uh, yes, it's pure flying. I know it looks like it could be more, but I just made it pure flying. I didn't really, couldn't really think, I didn't think that it needed much else. Like, its original design was pretty basic. Just the cloud, it was the basic... The original design was essentially a cloud from Mario, which I didn't even know about because I never like I didn't play it. I didn't have a lot of exposure to a lot of different games. So when people when I was growing up, so when people say things like like I wasn't I wasn't big into Nintendo when I was younger, so I didn't know much about like Mario and all this other stuff. Like when people say that my stuff like some of my designs look similar to like a Digimon or a certain character from another game or anything, I'm just like what's that because I never really saw it so I don't really so it's just subconsciously or it's just coincidence so yeah I read the design make it a little bit more interesting I'm actually based it off of a specific creature this time instead of just regular cloud it's based off of the Akashita one of those big the cloud face monster yeah uh, this thing you open it. it its mouth isn't open in the art but when it does that mouth is big as a mud so, yeah, no, yeah, it's pretty much. A, I feel like this is the better version of the two, since, since it actually has more of a concept behind it. But, but, and people have their different opinions. But yeah, I think that'll be it for now. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, we'll we'll go through the rest of them at a later date, since I just I'm pretty sure this this video went on a long, long time, longer than it needed to. I made it to 100, and there is actually 197 in my Gen 1. Don't ask me why. It, it just happened. But, yeah, we'll get through it next time. And until, and until then, Dark and Wendy out.